Good afternoon, Ivan. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. I would just like to confirm. Uh, you're applying for what position? I am applying for digital marketing specialist position, sir. Okay. Uh, let's start with getting to know you more. Can you tell me more about yourself? Good afternoon. I am Ivan Jen Simini Ganyadilia, a licensed professional teacher currently living at Sineyao and Valencia City, Bukid Nun. I am an educator, photographer, bookkeeper, financial manager, and digital marketer for private individuals and companies, both local and international clients. I am a graduate of business administration major in financial management. I am a goal-driven, a fast learner, and approachable person. Okay, great. Uh, what about your strengths? What are your strengths? My strengths are my technical and anal analytical skills, my keenness to details. I can handle pressure. I am a fast learner person. I can work with less supervision, my eye for design and photography, and my experience in different kinds of jobs, especially in freelancing, which helps and molds me as of what I am today. Great, okay. And your weaknesses? If there's uh, any. My weaknesses are getting... Uh, my weaknesses are getting panic easily due to overloading of work with minimum tenures. Uh, external factors like internet connections, computer specs, and also I get easily distracted. I have, I have a slow pace in doing work I am an introvert person, though I am slowly converting my weaknesses into strengths. Okay. Um, I want to know if you are, are you, are you a lifelong learner? And what are you currently studying at the moment? Every one of us is a lifelong learner. We learn every day through experience. Therefore, I am. In terms of studying, I am currently engaging in seminars, trainings, and workshops. Currently, I'm taking 14-day digital marketing training that conducted by the DICT and DTI with the cooperation of the local government unit. Okay. How long have you been a freelancer and what made you decide to become one? I have been in the freelancing industry for almost nine years. Mostly, I am focused on content writing and proofreading, article blogging, and graphic designs. I have been encouraged to do freelancing because it is one way to express my creativity and my passion because I believe in a saying, use it or lose it. So if you won't, lose it, if you won't use your skills, you might lose it someday. Okay. So you said that you've been in the freelancing industry for nine years. How many clients have you had so far and what kind of work have you done for them? I have many clients, both local and international. In local area, I have been serving my clients for proofreading, statistics, graphic designs, and content writing. And in international area, I have been writing contents, blogs, articles, and graphic design. I have also done proofreading, transcription, and graphic Okay. Uh, what is your, among all of these um, areas of specializations, what kind of, or what area uh, is your, what kind, what area in digital marketing did you choose to specialize on and why did you choose that niche? My freelancer specialization is mainly focused on digital marketing, graphic designing, and content writing. I choose these three specializations because I can confidently say that I am good in those fields and I can work well with them. But I won't cl close my tabs for different job offers that I can work best. Great, okay. Uh, this project will actually require you to work for 40 hours per week. Are you available and uh, to, to work for that particular schedule? And what would be your schedule, your preferred schedule look like? And also, can you work on, let's say, American time zone? 
I am a flexible person and can work anytime and anywhere as long as there are resources available to be used. To give figures, I can work a minimum of 40 hours per week. My schedule for freelancing mostly falls from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. on weekdays, including Saturdays. I can also work in any time zone, including American time zone and Europe time zone. Great, okay. Are you a team player? Can you work with teams or are you the type who prefer to work alone? Even though I am an introvert person, I am likely able to work with a team, especially if I will be given a task that can work well. Also, I am a cooperative person, so working with a team is not a hindrance. Also, I believe that collaboration with a team gets the work done faster. What's your service fee range for this project requirement? My service fee for a certain project depends on the task given to me. If it is beyond my specialty, it would cost high, and if it is within my scope, I could charge lesser. As for this particular project, I would charge 5.75 US dollar per hour as my standard rate for this type of project. But this could be lesser in the long run or if my task is easier. Okay. What's your... We, because here in our company, we always want to make sure that um, our people uh, are able to pursue things that will contribute to their long-term growth. So what's your long-term goal as a freelancer in terms of specialization or rate or clients? My long-term goal as a freelancer is to find an employer with whom I can work efficiently and effectively and stay with them in the long run. Also to help any company along the way on providing the best of my service as this has also helped me in growing as a freelancer and as a person. Okay. What's your understanding of the job that we posted? Uh, job requirements are the minimum qualifications and checklist if a person has qualified for a certain job while well, description describes the job is all about. Based on my understanding, you are looking for a digital marketing specialist, which is in fact one of my specialization. The job requirements really state what is the needed qualification for a person to be suited in the job, but the description entails the skills that I needed to accomplish the project that you will be given to me. Okay. Um, how do you take negative feedback? I take negative feedback as a learning. It is a key to open new spaces for improvement. I would treat it as a tool to for me to improve my deficiencies in doing my jobs or tasks and a tool to fill in what is lacking in me. Okay. Lastly, do you have questions about the project, clarifications, or do you have questions for me? Thank you for the opportunity. I would like to ask what are your expectations for a person to do this certain project? I would like also to ask about what are the time frames and little insights of this project and lastly if ever this project is given to me and and it's done can i expect that we will have another project to be discussed well um discussing another project after completing this project really depends on your performance so if you perform well, then we're going to offer you something more or, you know, we're going to be able to place people, put them into other departments that they want to, if they need more exposure. It, it really depends on your performance. And number two, in terms of time frame, there's not a lot of things that's holding us back. We would need to onboard someone as soon as possible. In terms of um, quali qualifications, we're really working, looking for someone who could really work with us hands on and you know we're looking for this person who has a breadth of experience in the area of digital marketing and someone who could actually answer a couple of pain points especially when it comes to branding and um, development of a lot of our portals of our company so and it's not just that we are also looking for someone who's gonna manage our CMS you know content management system so a lot of work but most importantly um, attitude matters. So 
it's really just finding the right person and um, having that particular desire for learning. You know, that's the kind of quality of people that we onboard. Anything else? Okay, sir. Napotol ganina. Okay. So thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you so much thank for you, joining the call, and we'll just email you for the results of this interview. Okay. Thank you. And thank you, sir. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you, sir.